Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. Lakers' Wayne Taylor Horton Tucker has flashed very promising signs of becoming a high-level, dynamic two-way wing, to the point the Lakers re-signed him to a three-year, nearly $31 million deal. However, if he wants to make that leap, he has to improve his jump shooting, hitting under 30% of his threes and less than 20% between 15 to 19 feet, ouch, for his career. First, let's take a look at three key issues played in his shot. He's inconsistent with how he gets into his shot, which impacts rhythm and efficiency. He'll sometimes use a hop into a one-two step, straight one-two step. Here he's taking a step forward into a hop and he's late to start the motion. This variance can inhibit neuromuscular rhythm and efficiency of the shot, key for players trying to become more consistent on their jumper. THT often drifts during his shot and that's highlighted by his different landing patterns. Here landing on the left foot. Here with a staggered landing. He also occasionally rotates while in the air. His feet are nearly pointing at the sidelines when he lands here. This may be due to balance deficits when he's loading or just a bad habit. This drift and rotation creates open variables that impact the rest of his shot chain and have to be adjusted for. Extra noise in a jumper is never a recipe for success. Halen is also inconsistent with how he loads at his feet, too often shooting flat-footed, which inhibits key biomechanical advantages at the calf and Achilles and decreasing mechanical efficiency of the shot. Talon has been working hard on that shot this summer. So let's take a look at some key things he's working on. Firstly, there's footage of THT working with Lethal Shooter. Talon is using a four count ball swing to build rhythm into his dip, stepping in and loading at the forefoot with heels up and then upwards. It's the same rhythmic sequence and form each time with a balanced, clean landing. Secondly, we have footage of Talon shooting corner threes with LeBron. On the move, he times his right pivot with the catch and then left to right one two step is up on the forefoot and lands balanced. On the stationary catch, it's again a left right one two step pattern and keeps his right heel up to load on the forefoot. Balance landing with minimal rotation and both feet touching down simultaneously and straight ahead. Lastly, the Lakers released some THT footage and there's one specific clip I want to focus on. You can clearly see how he's loading on the balls of his feet and then jumping and landing with balance, nearly identical pattern on both legs. Obviously open shots in an empty gym with no pressure or stress don't tell us anything about carryover to games, but they do inform us of key deficits he and the team are working on. Changing these patterns is a long, topsy-turvy process and we'll see where he stands soon enough. 